Little Red Riding Hood Once upon a time, in a small village, there lived a cheerful girl, known to everyone as Little Red Riding Hood because of her favorite red cloak. One sunny morning, Little Red Riding Hood's mother called her into the kitchen. Little Red Riding Hood had an important conversation with her mother. Dear, your grandmother is feeling unwell. Could you take her this basket of goodies? And remember, stay on the path and don't talk to strangers. Of course, mother, I'll go straight to grandma's house. Little Red Riding Hood starts her journey through the woods while birds are chirping. Little Red Riding Hood is walking through the forest with her basket in hand, humming a tune. Little Red Riding Hood meets the wolf in the forest. Good day, Little Red Riding Hood. Where are you off to? I'm going to my grandmother's house, deep in the forest. The wolf, with a wicked plan in mind, raced ahead to grandma's house. Wolf quickly pacing for Grandma's house. Then inside was Grandma. The wolf arrived first, and with a bit of trickery, he waited for Little Red Riding Hood. Little Red Riding Hood arriving at Grandma's house. Grandma, it's me. Little Red Riding Hood is talking to the wolf disguised as Grandma. Grandma, what big eyes you have. All the better to see you with, my dear. And what big ears you have. All the better to hear you with, my dear. What big teeth you have. All the better to eat you with. A woodcutter rushes in, saving Little Red Riding Hood and Grandma. Just in time, a brave woodcutter heard the commotion and came to the rescue. He saved Little Red Riding Hood and her grandmother from the sly wolf. Little Red Riding Hood learned an important lesson that day. To always listen to her mother's advice and be cautious of strangers. Thank you, brave woodcutter. I'll always remember to stay on the path and be careful. And they all lived happily ever after. The End Thank you for watching our tale of Little Red Riding Hood. Remember, stay safe and listen to those who care for you. Goodbye.